Hi everyone and welcome back to another Taste the Code video. In the past two weeks I've been playing around with some Arduinos to kind of investigate one of the ideas that I had uh, while working on my last video where I explored these uh, dimmer modules and I connected them with the Node MCU board so I could control this light bulb and a fan uh, with the serial monitor and you'll find links to it up there and both in the video description. But before we continue on that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is PCBWay. And not only that you can uh, have custom made PCBs for extremely cheap, but you can also join their uh, sponsorship program and their contest program, where for makers like you and me, we can actually get a lot of benefits. So be sure to check them out and start working on some of the projects that you might have. So. Last week, when I started exploring these uh, modules, I found out that in order for them to work reliably, we needed to use an interrupt pin for the zero crossing signal that we get out of this pin here. And based on that zero crossing signal and the timing that we uh, specify with the Arduino code, we can control this, uh, this triac and control the load on the output of this board. So. In the, project that the, in the project that I'm currently planning, which is a pellet burner, and several of my videos so far leaked to it, so working on the different modules, I had the idea to kind of make a dedicated controller just for this uh, dimmer control, so I can utilize um, the interrupt on that pin, and then talk through to that module through R I square C, uh, from the main Arduino board because I'm kind of running out of uh, interrupt pins for everything that I need on the pellet burner. So the original idea was that I'll use one of these 80 tiny 85, which is basically a um, miniature Arduino to connect the uh, to connect the dimmer module to the AT tiny and have it as a controller where the AT tiny will talk to the main Arduino through R squares, I square C. And I've been working on that for the past week, unfortunately without success, because this chip has only one um, I square C lines and they happen to, in, uh, to be the same as the uh, only one interrupt pin that this chip has which is pin 7 here, uh, I think it's PB2 on the Arduino. So no matter what I tried, I was unable to um, communicate through r c to the main Arduino and also monitor the zero crossing signal here from the interrupt because I was basically using the same pin. If you guys have any idea on how I can achieve that, then be sure to leave it down in the comments. But today I'm, I'm going to talk about what I managed to do instead. So here I have two Arduino nano boards and you can see like I have this as being the main. Uh, this one represent, represents the main controller and this one is the controller that's dedicated to the dimmer. So uh, basically the setup is uh, almost exactly the same as last time. I have the AC in coming in on the AC in input on the dimmer and I have this light bulb uh, attached to the load. Then on the other side, on the low voltage side on the, um, on the dimmer, I have the five volts and ground connected to the five volts uh, and ground of the Arduino Nano. And then I have the uh, zero crossing signal connected to, to pin D2. Let's, let's move in a little bit closer. So here the zero crossing signal comes to pin D2 and I have the control signal that uh, controls the output on the D5. And on the same time, uh, I can now connect this, this um, dimmer controller Arduino through R square C to the main controller and that on the Arduino Nano, the lines are A4 and A5. So we connect both of them uh, on the two Arduinos. So theoretically now I've 
kind of split the same sketch into two uh, where the main Arduino now receives the amount uh, the dimming amount through serial and then it transfers that information to the other Arduino which sole purpose is to control and monitor the uh, the speed uh, currently the 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 intensity of the light bulb but later on in the project it will monitor the speed of uh, this fan that I'm gonna use and not get bothered with any of the other operations that the main controller will have to execute like displaying information to the uh, display and also reading a bunch of other sensors that will read the input from uh, from the user and also the inputs from the temperature probes and uh, um, some other sensors that I'll have on there. Now let's jump into code and here on the left we have the code that's being programmed to the main Arduino and that's the one that reads from the serial input and on the right I have the code that's running on the uh, second Arduino which is uh, which sole purpose is to monitor and control the AC load um, in the main uh, sketch we first in the beginning we define the serial uh, as the communication and whenever we have some information available to read from the serial monitor we store that uh, information in a variable called X and we check once that variable uh, is different than what we had before so we know we have some new information I start the I2C communication um, which is provided by the wire.h library I said that I will begin transmission on address 8 I send out the information and I mark out the end of the transmission and I then print out to the serial monitor the data that I've sent um, to the dimmer nano to the second microcontroller and here now on the second microcontroller we do ha still have serial communication uh, serial output in this case just to know what happens but we also include the wire.h library and also the rbd dimmer library that we had from uh, the manufacturer of the dimmer module and as I said it's connected to pin 5 and on that pin we initiate the dimmer control since the Arduino Nano has only one interrupt pin that we can use we don't need to specify that and it's uh, kind of hard coded based on the uh, on the board that we are compiling the sketch for and on the setup function we specify that we are gonna start the I2C communication on address 8 and whenever we receive something uh, through R squared C, we will call this method receive event, which will set whatever we read, whatever byte we read from from the R squared C. We set will set it to the output variable, and we set that the mode on the dimmer will be to on, so we have the light bulb glowing. And now in the main sketch, in in the main loop of the sketch whenever we see that the current uh, the current value is different than what we had before set as before on the dimmer we send the command to the dimmer to output the the to output the power to the whatever we received as a value and then we print out to the serial monitor what is the current power that we are at at the end we save what we just sent to the dimmer control we set as a new value and we only, uh, we, we, with this, we don't really update this value all the time, but only when something changes. So I hope this is all clear. Now I'll connect everything up. So nothing is connected right now. I'll open the serial monitors on both of the Arduinos. So I now have both of the serial monitors open for both of the Arduinos. They're connected to the same computer and on the left here I have the main program which is this Arduino here that um, is now expecting a value through through the serial port um, to know what to set the output of the bulb I'll now connect the bulb as well and I'll need to be careful because this is now connected to live voltage and now we have the light bulb being on if 
I now type in, let's say, 15. That will be sent, that will be read from this Arduino. It will be sent to I2C to the other Arduino, and that will control the dimmer. And as you can see now, it's just slightly glowing. If I now update this to, let's say, double that to 30%, you can see that the light bulb is uh, increased in intensity and that value got transferred from the main um, program to the slave program. And this is extremely beneficiary in some cases, like in mine, where I don't want to overwhelm the, the main controller with the information that it needs to handle, because we can only deal with a limited amount of, um, of data at a time. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I've kind of overcome the, the problem that I had where I didn't add enough interrupt pins on the main, main Arduino. Uh, so I now kind of have a controller that's dedicated to just running the fan based on the interrupt signal from the zero crossing of the mains AC. And I have the other Arduino being available for other tasks. Um, I hope that this video make, made sense and that you kind of managed to learn something. If you have any questions regarding this setup and this whole thing, then let me know uh, down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. I'll provide links to both of the sketches here that you can find in the video description. And as I said earlier, if you have any ideas how I can make this work with the 80 tiny 85 then uh, be sure to leave me a message down below. Like, share, subscribe the video if you like it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.